Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing a new feature for AWS Firewall Manager. AWS Firewall Manager now improves auditing capabilities for security groups by identifying excessively permissive rules that permit traffic from all IP ranges. With this enhancement, customers can detect and remediate security groups that have an unrestricted allow rule for IP version 4 and IP version 6. This identification can be done using the security group content audit policy. Previously, AWS Firewall Manager provided customers with an option to audit IP addresses that fall within a defined range. This new capability further simplifies security posture management by detecting the common IP ranges associated with allowing all IPs, also known as 0.0.0.0. Before jumping into a demo of the new feature, let me just take a moment to explain what AWS Firewall Manager does. AWS Firewall Manager is a security management service that enables customers to centrally configure and manage firewall rules across their accounts and resources. Using AWS Firewall Manager, customers can manage the following AWS services, AWS Web Application Firewall, or WAF, AWS Shield Advanced, VPC Security Groups, which we're going to concentrate on today, AWS Network Firewall, as well as Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall. AWS Firewall Manager ensures that all firewall rules are consistently enforced and compliant, even as new accounts and resources are created in customers' AWS organizations. Before we get to our demo, I just want to go over some prerequisites for using AWS Firewall Manager. As you can see listed here, in order to use AWS Firewall Manager, your account must be a member of AWS organizations, and you must enable AWS config for each of your AWS organization's member accounts and for each AWS region that contains resources that you want to protect using AWS Firewall Manager. Finally, you must also designate an AWS Firewall Manager administrator account. For more information on each of these items, please refer to the links at the bottom of this video. Okay, time for our demo. And let's see how this new feature looks in the AWS Management Console. First thing to do is to make sure that you are logged into an AWS account that has either been designated as a default AWS Firewall Manager Administrator account or an additional AWS Firewall Manager Administrator account. Otherwise, you will not be able to see and or make changes to AWS Firewall Manager. The user you are logged in with must also, of course, have the necessary permissions for AWS Firewall Manager. All right, so we're going to search for Firewall Manager in the search box. or just Firewall, and then click on AWS Firewall Manager. At this point, I'm going to assume that you have already gone through the prerequisites as I have. If you haven't, instead of this screen, you may see a Getting Started button at this point. So please go through the prerequisites as specified earlier before continuing. All right, so now you're on the AWS Firewall Manager dashboard. Click the orange Create Policy button here, or optionally, Go to Security Policies over on the left, click that, and then click the orange Create Policy button. Either way, you will now be on the screen. And to show the new feature under Services, let's select Security Group for the policy detail. And then below that, under Security Group Policy Type, we're going to select Auditing and Enforcement of Security Group Rules. And click next at the top of the next page type a policy name and a policy description we're going to leave the default under policy rule options for configure managed audit policy rules and then below that under policy rules you could see that there is an option to select either all rules inbound or outbound and we're going to leave the default all, but it's important to note that you can specify this option as many use cases will require only auditing of ingress rules that allow all traffic. All right, we're going to select audit overly permissive security group rules. We're going to enable that. And finally, the new feature we're talking about today is right here. The checkbox for rule allows all traffic one there. Checking this will now cause AWS Firewall Manager to mark as non-compliant any security groups that contain 0.0.0.0 for IP version 4 or slash zero CIDR blocks for IP version 6. 
Both of these configurations would cause a security group to allow all traffic and could be a potential security issue. You may also wish to limit the auditing to only certain applications by clicking the Add Application List button and adding specific uh, applications. But for now, for this demo, we're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave the rest as default and click Next. On the Define Policies scope page, you have the option to limit the scope of the policy to different accounts, organizational units or OUs, by resource type, or even using resource tags. Since we're primarily dealing with security groups for this demo, let's select that and click Next. On the Configure Policy tags, we're going to just leave it alone uh, for production purposes, it is best practice to select a tag. On the next page, feel free to review all the information. And after scrolling all the way to the bottom of the page, you could click Create Policy. Now you could see our policy, the one called Demo, is being created or, or created. And it is slowly but surely going through the accounts and protecting them and or auditing them. And in order to show some results, I've pre-created two security groups behind the scenes, each of which has allowed traffic from or to all IP addresses. So I'm going to click on this policy test that I pre-created before just to, to show uh, what, what it will look like after a few minutes. And you can see here uh, all the different accounts that are part of this particular AWS organization. And if I click on any of them, I'm going to click on the one on the top because that's this account that we're in. You can see that there are two security groups, right? Those are the ones that, that I, again, pre-created. And if I further click on either one of those, you can now see that the security group allows traffic from or to all IP addresses. You can now go to that security group and remediate the issue by either removing the rule or making it more specific. And for more information on the AWS Firewall Manager, please go to the AWS Firewall Manager homepage listed or see the AWS Firewall Manager developer guide linked in the description below. Hope this update has been helpful. Thanks for watching. And now your turn to build.